Hey everybody, welcome to another Illustrator CS6 tutorial. I'm your host, Buddy Blackford, and today in Illustrator CS6, we're going to learn how to edit the patterns that we've created. And if you don't know how to make a pattern, you might want to go over to the previous tutorial where I taught you how to make patterns using simple objects. And that one's a pretty good, uh, good tutorial. So go ahead and uh, add your pattern to an object. You don't actually, you don't even have to do that. You need to open up the swatches panel. And here you'll see the patterns that you created. We've got a few in here, and these are different patterns. Some of them were already made, and some of them I added. So this one is the one I created last tutorial. Make sure it's selected, and then go to Object, and go to Pattern, and go to Edit Pattern. Now it brings up the pattern options again for you. You can use your selection tool to move things around and edit, edit some of these things. And when you're ready, just click on Save a Copy and hit OK. And this is just uh, letting you know that it went to the Swatches panel. You can see it over here. And then if you want to save your old pattern, all you're going to do is click Cancel. If you want to overwrite the old pattern, you're just going to hit Done. I'm just going to hit Cancel. And you can see I've got my old pattern still, and then I've got my new pattern that I created over here. Here's one that I made before. I'm just going to delete that out. I was testing that out before I did the tutorial. And now I've got my new pattern added. So I can go ahead and select that. Oh, my bad. I double clicked it. That's another way that you can edit your pattern. You just double click it in the swatches menu. So if I double click this one, it's going to bring me my other pattern. And that way you can uh, do it that uh, do something that way as well. So I'm going to go ahead and create my object. And I want to make sure that I have my new pattern on. There we go. And that's how you make your new patterns. Now, if your patterns aren't lining up very well, and you can see that maybe I want this part that's, uh, I want this whole set of four squares to be right in the middle. You want to take your selection tool and then hold down the tilde key and go ahead and drag. And you're able to drag the pattern around within the object without having to move your object. I mean, you can also move the object around and it will move that, uh, the pattern around that way, but you're actually moving the object around the pattern and holding down the tilde key and dragging moves the pattern around the object. So hopefully that made uh, makes sense to you guys. And that's, uh, what else do I got to show you about this? Um, the other thing I guess that I want to show you guys is you can add the pattern to either the stroke or the fill. So go ahead and select your object. I'm going to make my stroke on this a little bigger. Actually, kind of a, a lot bigger. Oops. I'll put it at like 20. So we that's so we can see. I'm going to click, make sure it's selected. Then I'm going to go over here to my stroke and pull it down. And then I can add one of the patterns I've created to it. That, and it'll make your stroke a pattern as well. So that way you can use patterns as strokes or even as fills. And that's pretty handy to know. Another way of doing this is to select your uh, colors and your stroke or your fill from the tools panel. So right now I have the fill in the front. So I know that the fill is selected there. I'll click on it and then I can click on one of my other Patterns. Oh, I've got to make sure my object's selected. And I can change my patterns out that way using the swatches panel. Same thing with the fill. If I click on the fill and bring that forward, now I'm able to change out my stroke in the swatches panel as well. And that that's a sometimes it's faster this way. It depends on really what you want to use. But that's what you got there. Now, if you just want to delete a swatch, just click on one of them. And you can come over here to this trash can here and click on Delete Swatch. And that's going to get rid of the pattern that you uh, had on. 
So that's all I wanted to show you about editing patterns. Hopefully you guys learned something new and um, e even like the little thing where you hold the tilde to move the patterns around. That stuff is pretty helpful and not a lot of people actually know about doing that. So at least I, I haven't ran across a bunch of people that know that. So thanks a lot for watching the tutorial. Hope you guys learned something. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe for some new tutorials coming up soon. Have a good one, everyone.